Okay, boys, I've agonized over this long enough. I've been very reluctant to show you this little trick because of the dangers involved. Uh, and, you know, I, I don't want to open myself up to liability problems. So, you know, finally I came to the conclusion that you're all grown men you can all assess the risk uh, that you're going to face in doing this. All I can tell you is this is dangerous. And if you get your hands or your finger in the jaws of that monster right there, it's not going to be a simple trip to the emergency room to get stitched up. It's going to be life-altering. That thing will eat you alive. And there's no guards here or anything like that to protect you. On these quarter inch uh, cap strips, uh, you put your gussets on, and of course, a lot of times there's going to be some overhang. And, you know, you can go in there after all of the uh, glue is dry and file that down with sandpaper or a smooth file. But this is quicker, the, uh, the uh, flush trim uh, router bit. But with a quarter inch cap strip, it, it presents some problems. Now on a peat and pole, you've got a half inch wide cap strip. So you can use a... Uh, I think I've showed you a, a, a standard uh, a flush trim bit for Formica that I use to uh, cut out the nose box. Well, for this, as soon as you get those uh, the first gussets on, you've got to go in and cut those off before the glue, well, well before it even dries. So you go in there and wipe all the glue off that you possibly can. What we're looking for is to set that bearing up so that it'll ride on the top of the cap strip but will not hit the uh, gusset. And e any overhang or any gusset proudness, as our buddy Lee Salzetti likes to say, uh, will be cut off flush with that bit. The bit that we're going to be using is a one and a half inch by one. Um, it's a two flute top bearing straight trim bit. It's a little bit pricey. I think I paid 19 bucks for that. But uh, if you can afford it, uh, boy, it'll sure make your life worth living. Um, especially trimming these gussets, it'll eliminate a lot of work. So before, like I was saying, before uh, we put the gussets on the other side, we go in here and trim these up real quick. And then that way, when we put the gussets on the other side, then we don't have to worry about this proudness on this side interfering with uh, the way this is going to run. Because this... Uh, bearing, it's slightly less than a quarter of an inch, and your cap strip is a quarter of an inch, and it's it's just, it'd be a lot of trouble to try to set that up just perfectly. I guess you could do it so it would ride on the cap strip alone, and then you could, but we're going to do it like this. So I'm going to try to demonstrate this, and hopefully I will not tear my hands up and listen boys again this is dangerous uh, my advice to you is to don't do it uh, but I know some of you will so good lord practice all precaution uh, do your due diligence uh, don't get yourself hurt but ultimately, it's going to be up to you. And don't do it just because you saw me do it. As a matter of fact, just because you saw me do it ought to persuade you not to do it. Okay, with that said, let's go to trimming.
Okay, simple as that, fellas. Now, since we've got sticky old uh, epoxy glue, we're going to go in there and we're going to clean that bit with an alcohol-soaked paper towel so it won't gum it up and ruin it. So uh, be sure and do that right away. Unplug the... Uh, the uh, router motor before you do anything though. And again, boys, this is dangerous. Uh, I don't know. Uh, if you do it, uh, just beware.